English speaking course. Voice talents. Henry, who is singing? Is it Peter? Yes, Peter is singing. What a beautiful voice! He's just registered for a voice talent contest. When? One week ago. His turn is going to be next week. Is it the contest of his company? No, it's a big contest. I think you also know about it. What is it? Sing out loud. Oh, holy moly! Yes, yes, that's it. He is practicing passionately. It's only a qualifying round. He doesn't need to be stressed out like it. Every round is as important as the other. Should we come to support him? I will ask him if we can. Great. Hey, Jane. Hey, how's it going? Great. I'm practicing every day. Hope that everything is fine. Henry and I were wondering if we can come to cheer you up that day. Unfortunately, it is a private auditions round. It means that there is no audience. Oh, what a pity. If I can pass this round and enter the next round, I will invite two of you to come. Deal. By the way, I think you should take some rest to protect your voice. Yes, I know. Because we will sing without instrumental accompaniments. I'm a bit stressed out. No worries. I believe you can do your best. Thank you. Why do you choose this song? It's one of my favorite songs. I won the first trophy in my life with it. It must be a lucky song with you. I think so. It is the reason why, after registering, the song popped up in my mind immediately. Cool. Good luck to you. A debate competition. Did you hear anything about the debate contest of our school? Debate contest? Not yet. Can you tell me more details? I found a poster on the information board. There's a debate contest in the coming spring. What is it about? The candidates will be joined in a team of three, then debate about human rights. I need to find three people to register, or three members will be chosen randomly by the board of judges. I don't know exactly. I just take a quick looking when passing it. I don't have any ideas about a team of three. I have no clue. Will you join? I have no idea. I even don't know exactly what it is about. I told you, it's human rights. You know, human rights is a big topic, and it is really difficult. Come on. I knew you had research on it. It's a long time ago. The most important thing is that I haven't understood its rules yet. You should meet Miss Lily to ask for more details. I think this contest is for you. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Miss Lily. Hi, Emma. I want to ask for some information about the debate contest. Also, I've been wanting to meet you. Do you register? I am considering. It requires a team of three, doesn't it? Yes, but the team members are chosen randomly by the judges. Great! I haven't had any friends to team up with. This is the poster of the contest, including details to register, process, and everything. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can come to my office. Yes, I will consider it. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks, Miss Lily. Goodbye. A running contest. Welcome to our team building event. We will have many activities today. 
such as check-in at the Flowers Gate, smart bell games, fashion shows, and the most anticipated parts are running contest and beach party. Now, all of you can take some beautiful pictures at the main gate. The running contest is starting in 45 minutes. Take your time. Hey, Sophia, do you join the running contest? Yes. How long is the running track? Two miles along the seaside. I registered because I thought it was only one mile. Come on, just having fun. I want to have a medal. Everyone will have an anniversary medal. Really? Yes, I took a part in it every year. Oh, I see. It is the first time I have had a bonding event with our company. I know. You are a new staff. How many medals do you have? I have four or five. Oh, wow, that's impressive. I've worked for it for six years, but there was one year I cannot join with everyone. Why? I was on a business trip. I see. Is running on the sand is harder than the normal track? Of course. Running on sand requires twice the energy as running on a hard surface. Everyone, the running contest is going to start. Everybody, make a line. Ready? One, two, three, go. I'm exhausted. Me too. We do our best. Which medal do you receive? A bronze medal. How about you? I have a silver medal. What is the highest medal? It is a platinum medal. Do you know who received it? It's Ruby. I will practice every day. Next year, I will receive a platinum medal. Try your best. I believe in you. Master Chef Mommy? Hello, Emily. Hello, honey. Hi, honey. Mommy, mommy! I got the golden cup, look! Well done! Tell mommy about today, Emily. I bring our bags inside. Okay, daddy. What is the ingredient you have today? We had cheese, as easy as pie. Wow, it's the ingredient you are the best at. Yes, God bless me. What dish did you cook? I baked shrimp with cheese and sweet corn. Good job, my girl. But we had some troubles when I was cooking. What are they? I forgot to heat the oven before cooking. I was very scared at that time. But luckily, I still had plenty of time. I found out the oven wasn't preheated soon enough. The oven only needed to be heated up before 15 minutes. Luckily. Then, when I needed to use the spice, the jar lid was stuck. I tried my best, but I was still not able to open it. Oh my gosh, what happened to me? Come on, not this time, come on. Then I asked Daddy's help. Daddy! Thank you. Dad helped me to open it. He is a superhero today. Everyone in the competition applauded him. So, the trophy today is for both Daddy and you, right? Yes, Daddy is 70%. I think it's 50-50. How many people have received the Golden Cup? Today, there are five. You know, there is a little girl who received the Golden Cup like me. She is only nine years old. She is definitely a formidable opponent. Yeah, she is so cute, so I like her, though. When is the next round, sweetie? It's on next Saturday. Do you know what topic we have the next time? No. What is it? Vegan dishes. 
Oh, it's a great topic, though it's hard, actually. Yes, I think so. I should practice more if I want to receive the golden cup of the second round. Okay. But I think you should take a rest now. You must be exhausted today. Yes. Sleep Deprived What's the problem, Ollie? You look so sleepy. You got up early this morning, didn't you? Oh, last night I attended a birthday party, and I only got about four hours of sleep. What time did the party last night end? About 3 a.m. Well, so why didn't you sleep in the morning? I have a study group meeting at the library. We have a test coming up next week. Are you kidding? Why didn't you study instead of going to the party last night? Oh, it's okay. I studied a lot before the party. Anyway, it isn't such a good idea. Why? Going to a party also helps me relax. It was stated that if you do not get enough sleep after studying, you may forget 30% of what you studied. Especially if you studied something really difficult. Really? Yes, even two days after you study, if you don't get enough sleep, you forget a lot. It's called being sleep deprived. I haven't had enough sleep for two days. That's bad. You need to go to bed earlier tonight. Yeah, I know. Find a job. Ollie, where are you going? I find a place to take a nap. There is a guest room to rest upstairs. By the way, thanks for coming with me to the placement center. Not at all. I'm very happy to help you. You know, I need to find a summer job. Yeah, so what type of job are you searching for? I'm trying to find a job in public health. And you know, last summer I worked part-time at a lab in Maryland. That's fantastic. How about you? What do you want to do? I'd want to work as a freelance writer for a local newspaper. I'd want to be a reporter. Is journalism one of your majors? Yeah, and I had a fantastic job in Mexico City last summer. Really? What exactly did you do? Excelsior hired me to work part-time. This is Mexico's largest newspaper. What exactly do you do there? I wrote local news stories. That sounds fantastic. And someday, I want to write international news stories, then I can travel around the world. And find out what people are like in other places. Wow, great! You will be traveling all over the world. Yeah, that is also my dream. Anyway, is there anything on the bulletin board for public health jobs? Nah, I don't see anything interesting. You should try looking on the web. There are some great job sites. This is how I got the job in Mexico City. That's a great idea. I'll go to the computer lab right now and try that. See you later. At a food court. Wow, look at all these various places to eat. There are so many options. I'm a vegetarian and I don't know what to eat. Dan, what are you going to eat? I'm finding a fast food restaurant because I'm hungry. I want a cheeseburger with fries. Do you often eat fast food? Yeah, I like to eat fast food. What do you like to eat the most? My favorite is the cheeseburger. By the way, did you go picnic yesterday? Yes, what happened? Pat seems concerned about your health. Why? I'm in good health. However, cheeseburgers are high in fat and calories. Okay, okay. What are you going to eat? 
I'm going to have some tofu and rice at that Chinese restaurant. Oh, I forgot you were a vegetarian. And I'll eat a salad. Why are you vegetarian? Are you trying to lose weight? I don't follow any diets. I just like doing so. All right. What would you like to drink? A bottle of mineral water. And you? A big Coca-Cola. A big Coca-Cola? There is a lot of sugar and soda. Okay. I'll take a diet cola, which contains no sugar. That's great. And I'll have a salad as well. Arriving in San Francisco. Look, guys, up ahead. There's San Francisco. Look at that skyline. We're nearly there. What exactly is it? It appears to be a tower with a triangular shape. This is the Transamerica Building. It is a well-known landmark in San Francisco. Whoa, that's fantastic. It's almost as famous now as the Golden Gate Bridge, the cable cars, Chinatown. I can't wait to visit those places. Especially Alcatraz. Alcatraz used to house the most dangerous criminals in the United States. Now, it's a pretty interesting old jail and a terrific destination to explore. We are going to there tomorrow. That's great. But what's the problem with the car? Yes. Why are we moving more slowly? Oh my. I guess we've got a flat tire. The City Day Hello, Alicia. How are things going? Hello, Lee. I'm okay, but I'm really busy. What exactly are you doing? I'm making an Earth Day sign. Earth Day? What is its aim? The aim is to educate people and encourage environmental movements around the world. When is the next Earth Day? The next Monday. Is it done every year? Yes, the first Earth Day was in 1970, and it is now celebrated every year on April 22nd. What do people do on Earth Day? On that day, people talk and learn about environmental issues. For example, thousands of people came to Washington, D.C. to support clean energy in Italy. Do you mean that Earth Day is celebrated all across the world? Yes, it is. Does Earth Day happens in many countries? And what's going on here? There is a lot going on in college. Such as? There will be a pollution exhibitions in the college's student union. Students will also plant trees across the college grounds. So, what are your plans for Earth Day? I intend to deliver a speech against pollution. What about your sign? What does it imply? Save the environment. That's fantastic, Alicia. Meet new friend. Hello, how are you? Hello, are you Jack? Yes, and you're Peter? Yes, it's me. Ah, uh, we met last week on campus. This is my friend, Ming Li. She has only recently moved into the building. Hello, Ming Li. It's good to meet you. You just call me Ming. Okay. So, you're from? Before I was born, my parents flew from San Francisco to Hong Kong. That's great. Actually, I was thinking of taking Chinese this semester. Maybe you could help me. However, my Chinese isn't that excellent. Listen, Peter, we're starving. Do you want to go out to dine with us? I'm sorry, but... I have to go meet my new roommate. Okay, well, see you another day. 
See you. I don't believe it. Have you heard the story about our high school? Not yet. What is that story about? There's a rumor that our school has a ghost. I don't believe it. Why not? I just don't believe in ghosts. Are you not scared of ghosts? No, I'm a bit afraid of the dark, but not ghost. Okay, so do you watch horror ghost movies? Yes, I do. But normally I don't feel very scared. You're brave though. I don't dare to watch horror movies alone. Come on, there's no ghost. Why are you so sure? Have you ever seen a ghost? No, I haven't. See? What in the movie is all about imagination? I'm on diet now. Laura, come. I have many snacks and ice cream here. Which one do you like? Wow, so many! But I'm sorry, I'm on diet now. Why are you on diet, Laura? Because I gained one kilo in two weeks! Come on, look at you. You're not even fat. But I'm not thin either. Why do you have to be thin? To look better, I guess? You look very beautiful now, Laura. No need to change anything. Thanks for your kind words. So, will you try some ice cream? Okay, let me eat a bit. Which flavor do you like? Chocolate flavor. Okay, here you are. That's so amazing. Lily, are you busy now? No, come in, Jade. What's up? I will have a first date today. Wow, really? He was the lucky guy. I just met him at the drawing club. Great! So, what can I help you with today? Can you help me do some makeup? You ask the right person. Just count on me. Now, open your eyes! Oh, wow, that's so amazing, Lily. Right? You're so pretty, my girl. I mean, you are a real artist. Thanks for your compliment, but you are already beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> now, I have to go. Okay, have a nice date, girl. Thanks. See you. Where are you going to travel this vacation? Summer is coming. Yes, what will you do in the summer holiday? I will travel with my family. Where are you going to travel this vacation? I'm going to travel to Florida. Why Florida? I will visit my grandparents. They are living there. How long will you stay there? I will stay there for two weeks. What do you usually do there when you visit them? We often go fishing. There is a river next to the house. Do you like staying there? Yes, of course. I'm very happy to meet my grandparents and cousins again. Who do you go with? What do you usually do on weekends, Sarah? I usually go camping. Oh, really? Who do you go with? I go with my family, sometimes with my friends. Where do you go camping? We go to a mountain normally. Do you stay overnight? Sometimes only. Usually we go back in the evening. 
Which equipment do we need to go camping? A tent, food, cooking stuff, and a lighter. I want to go camping too, but my parents seem not to like it. You can join us this weekend if you want. Really? Aw, oh, thanks, Sarah. I will ask my parents first. Okay. How often do you visit your grandparents? Hi, Jenny. Hi, Emily. Where are you going? I'm just going for a walk. And you? I'm going to visit my grandparents' house. Oh, are they living near here? Yes, about a 15-minute walk. How often do you visit your grandparents? Because we live near, I usually visit them three to four times a week. You're lucky. How about you? Do you visit your grandparents regularly? No, unfortunately. They are living very far away. Where are they living now? They are living in California. So, how often do you visit them? Around once every two months? Have you ever tried Italian food? What is your favorite food, Lily? My favorite food is spaghetti. I can eat it every day. Have you ever tried Italian food? Oh yes, I have. I used to travel to Italy before. Really? You're so lucky. Which food did you try there? I ate mainly pizza. They have so many types of pizza there. What is your favorite Italian food? It's ice cream. Is it gelato? Yes, gelato. Really delicious. Do you know any Italian restaurants near here? Yes, we can go and have dinner together there now. Sure, let's go. What did you dream of becoming when you were a kid? Wow, did your son draw this picture? Yes, he said he wanted to be a pilot. So cute. I dreamt to be a manager in a toy company when I was young. Why? So I can play with as many toys as possible. <laughs> Such a lovely dream. What did you dream of becoming when you were a kid? Oh, I always dreamt to be a firefighter when I was a kid. Wow, big dream. You wanted to help people? Huh, I just thought firemen was cool, and I liked the red fire truck. How do you feel now? Hello, Alice. Hello, Beth. It's so nice of you to visit me. How do you feel now, Alice? I feel much better today. What happened to you yesterday? I think I caught a cold. How did you feel yesterday? I had a fever and I vomited. That bad? Did you take medicine? Yes, I took a pill and it got better. Do you know why you caught a cold? I'm not sure. But after showering, I felt a bit cold. Okay, Alice. I hope you will recover soon. Thank you for visiting me. You're welcome. What gift does she like? Hi, Hannah. Are you busy now? No, I'm not. What's up? Next month is my girlfriend's birthday. Do I need your help with the gift? Hmm, let me see. What gift does she like? I don't know. Last year I bought a necklace for her. Was she happy with it? Yes, she was. 
she's still wearing it until now. I think as long as it's your gift, she will like it. But I want to give her a special gift this year. How about handmade stuff? Great idea. I will think more about this. Thank you a lot. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.